Okay, so I just started this game and it's like probably the most interesting intro to a game that I've ever seen. I don't know if this is going to record correctly, but I assume we... That's so sick. <laughs> so this is a game called... If it comes up, no players online. Looked interesting. It's another one of those like PlayStation 1-esque horror games. Me and these type of operating systems are a little bit before my time although it does look a bit like um the sky tv menu from like early 2000s maybe even um what was that like telly where you'd get like news and like um football transfers telly something i can't remember i never used it but i always used to see my granddad using it to get like football scores and stuff okay i have no idea what we're doing Capture. Oh, it's servers. Okay, so we can go into any server. Damn. Did games actually used to look like this? Like, so primitive when online gaming first started? I have no idea. Oh, wow. Looking for players. Something tells me I'm not going to find any. Um. Oh, shit. Okay, we're back. Got the sensitivity up a little tiny bit. Yeah, that's good. So, the star flag. I don't know why there's something so alluring about like these old PS1 style horrors. It just sort of goes so hand in hand with like analog horror and like liminal stuff. Like, look at this shit. Could this not just be a game from like the early 2000s, late 90s? Also, it's got that same sort of feels like Gmod maps that, that are like uninhabited, you know, with all like the ambient sounds. There's been like a million and one YouTube documentary. Oh, we can run YouTube documentaries um, showing how Gmod maps are so fucking creepy when there's nobody in it related to like, oh, I mean, that's that's pretty accurate to the era. Sorry, I get sidetracked so much. Um, what was I even saying? Oh. Yeah. Um, I completely forgot what I was saying. That's brilliant. Great A content right there. But yeah, like... That, is this not just the same areas over there, but flipped? What's that leading to? No idea. Oh, yeah. Means it's something that we're gonna have to shoot, maybe. Oh no, because it's an online game, isn't it? Okay, let's get to the point. Of course, it's mirrored because it's like a professional esports game from back in the day, so it's gotta be somewhat fair to both teams. Okay, we've got the flag. Oh, it's going dark now. Um, Play music. Is that just a record player? It is? Oh. Oh, that's different. We have to play Pressy on it. somebody. See, that reminds me of like those um, those cursed games as well. Oh, who are you? Do you know like um, creepypasta games like fucking Pokemon but the cartridge is fucked? Yo, can I look at the scoreboard? That was definitely a kill right there. He just used his like cloak of invisibility or some shit. Have imp and ammo. Okay. Let's go. Let's cap the flag. Okay, let's get a move on. What's gonna change this time? I like how initially I had just like this 
commentary on like liminal spaces in games, probably just parroting what a million people have said in all of the videos I've watched about them, but it's very true. Um, and now I'm just sort of playing capture the flag with a ghost. Oh, I can't run. Hmm. Guarantee you at some point there's gonna say player join fucking mum comma sixty one has joined the opposite team. Oh there you go. <laughs> has joined the game. Did that just pop in when I caught that fly? Oh. Oh that was always open then, maybe. I was turned around. I didn't know. Okay. Come on, man. Fuck you. Oh, right, right, right. So, my dad used to play a game on the PS3 called Medal of Honor Airborne. I think it came out in like 2007. I hated it because I was a little COD fanboy when I was that age. Bearing in mind, I was about 7 or 8 in 2007. Um, and he, he carried on going back. He would still play it today. Like, we still have the PlayStation 3. Sometimes he just boots into it. Air it. And there's no, obviously no players online, because I doubt there's even servers running for it anymore. Um, but he would still just go on, on the story mode and pick up where he left off. He did beat it a couple of times, but he just loved it so much. Yo, yo, come on, come on, no, fuck you. Nah, man. Listen, this is, it's not a melee game, you need to shoot me. Yeah, like if I plugged in the PlayStation 3 right now and put that disc in, he'd still go and play it happily. And it's like all of the servers, when the servers were still online, I assume they're not online anymore, but like maybe a couple of years ago they were. You'd go online and you would just like roam around waiting for somebody to join. And one time somebody did. It was like this American guy. It wasn't as creepy as you might think. He actually came on the mic and just started shouting like racist shit about English people in the war. I can't even remember what he was called. Oh, but my name on PS3 was Dylanoid. And he would just like, just say Dylanoid with some sort of like British slur. Maybe he was like a confederate, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I can't even shoot that. Let's go, let's end this shit. Is there going to be any point where I can actually get a kill? Whenever I start a new like FPS game, I always have this like, mini challenge where when like my kill to death ratio is completely clean I'm like I need to get a kill before I, before I get killed speaking of getting killed hello hey stop it you hacker you steal all my bullets come on man get behind cover get behind cover oh that was <laughs> How did you even get access to this game? Can you hear me? No, you're typing. If you read this, press Y to chat and say something. What if I don't? What if you're like corrupted code? I don't know which way the flag was. I have the flag and I was going this way. Wait. I pressed Y and it didn't do anything. Wait, never mind. I don't think you're chatting. Oh. Makes sense. Just shoot twice if you can read this. I'm, I'm gonna not. Oh, he's a dev though. Maybe he knows, like, this game's haunted. What's he gonna say if I don't? Wait, I wonder if I go back to his flag. Oh no, he's spectating. I was gonna say maybe I could see him. Ugh. Let's shoot twice. Okay. Never mind. Oh yeah, I can read this. Okay, he's gonna explain the story. Thank you, John. If you deliver that last flag, the servers will shut down. I absolutely cannot let that happen. I thought he said do deliver that flag or did I misread? Been working on this project for more than eleven years, I can't let you jeopardize all of my work. 
just made it look like a simple FPS game to you. Yep. But this game has the power to raise the dead. Oh my. Sure. At least that's what it's supposed to do. 11 years and it's still a work in progress, as you can probably tell. I'm making this so I can see my wife again. Oh. But she seems stuck in a sort of limbo. So that's your wife. You probably already met her. Yeah, I tried to shoot her many times. She might come over as a bit aggressive, but she's just scared and confused. I feel you. Can you blame her? You destroyed the record player with her favourite music. Yeah, whoops. I use that music to keep her calm. If you deliver the last five, her soul will be set free. Well, that sounds kind of nice. But I know I can save her and bring her back. So what do I do? Please, please escape and shut down the game. That doesn't sound so fun though, does it? Please. Oh, was that always there? Why? Oh no, these aren't gravestones. I thought they were gravestones. They're like pillars. Um, I'm sorry mate. I'm gonna set your wife free. She doesn't seem very happy in this place. And even if she did come back, what would she be like fucking pixels on a screen? No, no, no. Okay. Go back. Go back to the center of the map. No, no, no. Ooh, your wife's gonna die. No, 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 no. Oh, your wife's gonna die. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, but maybe. No, okay. Okay, let's let's listen to him. Let's go to the center of the map. I'm guessing that was where the radio was. Okay, we're in the center of the map. I mean, if he's been working on this for like 11 years, surely he should have a better failsafe in place for if somebody was to join and just end the progress. I'm gonna kill your wife, mate, I'm sorry. I did what you said and nothing happened. It's kind of boring. I'm sure she'll find you. Go back. Where is she? She's obviously gonna try and like... Oh no. We fucked all the servers. Quit MS boss. Okay. Guess that's it. Rest in peace to John Dev's wife. Sorry, I've made some sort of grudge between me and him. He definitely doesn't seem like a massive computer whiz, considering he had this huge plan for 11 years and he didn't have a failsafe to stop that anybody just joining on the server and ending it, so I'm not too scared about him getting me information and coming and killing me. So sorry about that, John. Guess this is where it ends. Goodbye.